Princess, ba't parang namumutla ka? Oo, oh, namumutla ako? Oo. Oh, oh. Ah, baka dahil ang sa stress, tsaka puyat din kasi ako. Ano ang pinapuyatan mo? Ah, yung papers na 1-1-3. Kasi diba, syempre, kailangan na nga namin ayusin yun. So, ayun, puyat. Ah. ah. Tagal ko na yung natapos. Yung pinaproblema ko nga ngayon, yung 1-0-3 video eh. Di ko na alam gagawin. Ang ikli-ikli na mga scenes namin kung ano na lang ginagawa namin. Ah, uh, okay. Ay, wait lang. Ang sakit kasi lang siya. Kung si CR muna ako. Ay, sige, sige. Okay. Kain tayo. Ah, uh, okay. Sige, okay lang. Saan mo gustong kumain? Hmm. Ano ba meron sa SC? Ah, alam ko na. Meron doon mga ano, may stall doon ng Quick Quick, tsaka fish ball. Ay, oo, oo. Tagal ko lang di nakatikim ng Quick Quick. Mura pa. Sige, lika. Sige, sige, kain tayo. Okay. Yay! Uy, teka, parang mas masarap ata yung corn. Ay, oo nga yun. sa Quick Quick. Sige. Corn na lang tayo. Okay lang, madaming tao kasi hindi may, may, may corn. Ay, oo nga may corn. Ah, sige, oh, sige, sige, sige. Tayo corn na lang tayo, bili tayo okay, corn. Okay, sige, sige. Ate, magkano po yung corn sa steak? 25. Ay, isa nga po. Margarine. Opo. Uy, ayan, kain na tayo. O oh, sige, pero medyo mainit pa. O oh, sige, sige. So, maya-maya ng konti. Walang bigyan muna natin.
siya nung Tuesday. Parang sa katiyata siya niya. Kasi nakaupo lang siya. Siya mukhang uyaw sa experiment. Siguro meron siya. Feris Villanueva at ang kanyang symptoms na fever at diarrhea si Francis Tan na nagkakaroon ng stomach ache at dizziness si Lian Po fever, stomach ache at patungilo at ang pang-apat ay si Catherine Francis at Genza na may stomach ache, vomiting at diarrhea rin Common sa kanila ang sakit sa chan Ano kaya meron dito? Ano kaya ang source? Kailangan ko kumonsulta sa isang eksperto. Sino nga ba pwede? Tawag. Si Dr. B. Isa siya ang Dr. of Medicine. Na nasa-specialize niya sa microbiology. Siguro ay alam niya kung anong nangyayari sa loob ng siya ng mga tao.
you explain what that means? Okay, hold on. Enzymes. Do you know what enzymes are? First of all, enzymes. They can be considered as proteins in RNAs. They serve as catalysts in most biochemical reactions. Enzymes affect both the forward rate and the and the backward rates of the reactions without changing the equilibrium mm -hmm. point. Okay. They are substrate specific, which means that an enzyme can only affect a special a specific sorry chemical or reactants, and they can either be called activators or inhibitors. For as activators, they speed up the rate of the reaction, while as inhibitors, they slow down the rate. Uh, I'll show you something. Sure. These are the reported cases uh, in the campus. So, and including their symptoms and their location. Hmm. Why do you think that out of all the people in the campus, only a few were affected? Yes, when it comes to enzymes, they only affect specific people in this area. Enzymes are actually substrate specific. This means that uh, the active side of the enzymes determine the types of molecules that can bind and react there. Okay. In this case, we have people, four people, it's only specific. Um, these active sites consist of a particular arrangement of amino acid side chains. Non-protein small side chains can actually be found near those active sites. Okay. Uh, so they have been in contact with enzymes that target uh, only these specific people. Specific people, yes. So they must have something that oh. other people don't. Uh, so they must have something in common. Yes. I must investigate also into that. Yes, please investigate one of the possible cofactors as to why uh, the these sickness that you've mentioned only affects those certain people. Okay. In order to understand those enzyme reactions, I think it's better if we look at this experiment because the experimental aspects of enzyme kinetics are concerned first with understanding those factors that affect the rate, with a view to determine the chemical mechanism of the reaction, and potentially what controls it. So, in finding out that, maybe you can find a reason as to why these people have those signals. So, do you understand? Uh, there are a few things I don't. Okay, I think it's better if I show you through an experiment on how enzyme reactions work. Welcome to my special team, where everything I need is here. In here, I will demonstrate you the experiment I was talking about earlier regarding enzyme analysis. So what are the materials that we need? First, we need a bowl filled with water. And then we've got apples. I like apples. And then lemon, uh, some salt, and knife. Basically, this shows how enzyme reactions work. In this experiment, we'll be observing what we call as polyphenol oxidase, which produces melanin and benzophenones that actually causes the brown colors in apple when they are cut and produced to air. I see, so that's why apples turn brown. Yes. Let us first observe how apples produce a brown color when it is cut and exposed to air. Be careful in handling that knife. Okay, now we will wait. Let's set this aside and wait for the reaction to occur. For now, let us cut more apples. Seems like you're having a hard time. Would okay. you like me to do it? Uh, yes, please. Suddenly. Ooh. Oh, look. It's starting to turn brown, right? Oh, yes. As you can see, the reaction is now in progress. It's turning brown slowly. But if we wait for a few more minutes, it will totally be more evident. Around. Yes. So let's wait then. Okay. Now we'll cut more apples. If that is so, doctor, what are these for? Oh. Lemons and salt. Oh yes. For lemons, we'll be we'll be experimenting on them to see if they will slow down the reaction with apple. And same with salt, which we will actually pour some in the. Yes. I see. So that's it. Now we'll try the salt and water. Let's pour some salt into the water. Mix it. And mix it. Is that enough? Yes, that, that would be enough. And now we'll set aside these apples that we've cut earlier for comparison. And we'll... Oh, thank you. And now we'll cut 
a fresh new set of apples that we can actually put in the bowl filled with salt and water. Okay. So what would you do with that other half? Um, okay, we'll put one half here in the bowl and immerse it in the water. And then the other half, we'll set it aside also for comparison. So let's, hit, let's put it here. Yes, let's put it here. Now we'll try the one, the lemon. We'll see how lemon reacts with apple. Okay, first we'll cut the lemon. Okay. Yes, yes, lemon. And now let's cut another fresh set of apples. And then let's rub some juice on it. While well, slowly squeezing the lemon. I wonder what does lemon juice do exactly on apples? Well, lemons are believed to slow down the reaction. So, um, apples will have a slower rate of turning brown. So, when compared to this, yes, when compared we expect to, this, to see that this will be more brown? Yeah, this will actually have a darker shade. Well, this one, it could actually still stay the same or be of a lighter shade. Let's set it also aside for Let's comparison. So we can clean up the space. Mm, Dr. Lee, I have a question. Yes? What does lemon do exactly? Lemons, they actually have a lower pH, so they slow down the reaction, as we will observe. Okay, now we'll observe how um, the apple that we've squeezed some lemon in and the one and the other apple which is actually immersed in a uh, water solution with salt. salt. And we'll compare it to the yes. Other. And we'll compare it to the one that as is. Okay. And to see which one turns uh, brown shade faster. Okay. As you can see, comparing the apple, which is not in, immersed in salt and water, and the one that's actually immersed in salt and water, this apple Whoa. is actually much wider as compared to this one. What about the other one? Moving on to the next apples. This is the one that is squeezed with lemon juice, and this is the one that is not. Same as the one that is immersed in salt and water, this one is actually much wider. This is the one that is squeezed by lemon. I said I want this just exposed to air. Can I see? Sure. So this is the one with lemon and the one with without lemon juice. Indeed. It's white. Whiter. Whiter. When compared. And then here are the ones that have no treatment or the as is apples. And you can see here that it, they actually have brown shades already forming and this is due to the fact that it's exposed to air and oxygen. I see, so that's what the brown color is. Yes. So that explains enzyme reaction. Specifically this one caused by polyphenol oxidase. Now it brings the brown color characterized by melanin and benzoquinone. Yeah. Benzo Am I right, doctor? Yes, correct.